Hey guys, my name's Aaron Massey, and today I'm gonna to be building a cold brew coffee tower. So obviously I'm not in my shop today. I'm in a parking lot of a building, which is actually the YouTube Space LA, believe it or not. Uh, I'm not shooting on a sound stage because I can't do construction in there, but that's all right. I'm shooting out here in the parking lot as part of the Next Up campaign. I was selected recently to participate in the Next Up class of 2016. So I've been here all week collaborating and learning. Obviously, since I'm not in my shop, I don't have the same array of tools that I normally would. So the project's gonna be a little bit simpler than some of my other builds, but I'm looking forward to doing it. So let's just get started. First, I wanna talk about some of the materials that I have for this project. I picked up some glassware online for the actual uh, drip mechanism of the coffee brewer itself. This top container is gonna be filled with ice water, which will then slowly drip water into our second container, which is this piece of glassware here. This piece of glassware is gonna have the coffee grounds in it and the water is gonna slowly saturate the coffee grounds. And then lastly, it's gonna drip into our collection chamber, which is this beakery looking thing that I've got right here. If you wanna get the same glassware that I'm doing in this video, I'll make sure to put a list of uh, all the materials that I have here and where I got it on my blog. You can check it out at mrfixitdiy.com. Some of the other materials that I have for this build are these inch and a quarter dowels. And then I've got a one by 10 here that I'm gonna cut into pieces. That's gonna be like the shelves. So each one of these beakers is gonna have its own like shelf that it sits on. So the first thing that I'm kind of doing is laying out the design and figuring out where the dowels are gonna be spaced. So I'm gonna cut three pieces of the one by 10, 12 inches long using the chop saw. I'm actually gonna drill holes so the dowels can pass through each shelf and then I'm gonna glue everything together so it's a nice and solid frame. So now if I clamp these three pieces together, I can actually drill one continuous hole all the way through so that I know the dowel holes are lined up on each piece. So with the holes drilled and the dowels in place, you get an idea of kind of what it is that I'm going for here. Roughly each shelf is gonna be about 11 inches apart. I'm gonna lop off the excess of the dowels. I'm gonna move on to the second shelf. I need to drill a hole in the center of that shelf that will allow for this little rubber grommet to sit down inside there so it's nice and snug. We don't want any stress on this glass piece, so this rubber grommet is gonna kind of hold our glassware in place on that shelf. And then I'm gonna focus on the top shelf. I'm laying out and marking the center point of the shelf and then I'm cutting a hole with the jigsaw so that the glassware can sit down inside the shelf. To secure the wooden shelves to the dowels, I'm actually gonna drill holes and use a 5 16 dowel, cover it some wood glue and slide it in the holes, and then I'll cut them off flush. The wood glue will get in there, expand the wood fibers, and everything will be really nice and strong. Then we can focus on finishing. I'm gonna sand everything down nice and smooth, and then hit everything with a nice flat black spray paint. The build portion is complete. Now I can bring it inside, get some coffee going, and I'm really excited for you guys to check this thing out. Well guys, here it is, the finished cold brew slow drip coffee tower. It's been brewing for a few hours now, so all that's left to do is give it a shot. So let's try it. It's actually really good. I'd say overall, for the first try, pretty freaking good success. So it takes a while to brew the coffee this way, but it actually is really good. And uh, if you're an avid coffee drinker like me, you might like it, so give it a shot. Uh, obviously, this is not the most involved build that I've ever done, but given the circumstances and where I had to build it, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, don't be afraid to follow me on social media via the links in the description below. And if you want a complete list of materials I use to build this project, take a look at my blog at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. With the black pipe laid out, now we can take some measurements and transfer those measurements to our shelf. For this shelf, we're gonna have two equally sized shelves, one on the top and one in the bottom. And each one is gonna be about 16 and a half inches long.